Good morning, Cancerians. Hello, everybody. Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Today, or this week, I'm doing extended reads for all signs, so get comfy. Um, grab your favorite adult beverage. I have coffee, and let's do this. Like I said, Tarot the Mystical Moments, Wheel of Fortune Tarot. Bottom of the deck coming in, you have the tower, and over here, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So the tower is like a sudden change, okay? It could be good or bad depending on depending on your circumstance, depending on in tarot, the cards around it. So let's see where we're going in this reading. Something propels you into the new and, you know, exciting times. It could be very exciting one way or another. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, if you are a Cancer, no Cancer, feel like being a Cancer. Cancerians, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Cancer and this resonates. You could be dealing with the Cancer. It could resonate as the main story and Cancer can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Cancer or for a Cancer. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages for my lovely Cancerian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the energy for Cancer? What is the energy for Cancer, please? What is the energy for Cancer? Ooh, ooh, Emperor making big decisions here. What's influencing the Emperor? That's Aries energy right there. What's influencing the emperor? The Ten of Wands. Tens and Tarot talk about a cycle coming to an end, pushing through. What's the reason for the reading? Here we go. Four of Swords, a pullback, peace of mind. What's in the past? What's in the past? Seven of Cups. I love it. It's stars on this deck, not even cups. It's stars. Options. What's on your mind? What's on Cancerian's mind, please? What's on the Cancerian's mind? Three of Wands reverse. It's. I'm curious because some of you, the Three of Wands reverse is turning your back. It could be. It could also be no longer needing to wait for something to come in because maybe it's in, you know? What's in the near future? What's in the near future? The wheel. Look at that. The wheel of fortune. You got it twice. Something is really propelling you into the new. How do you currently see yourselves? I feel tired, overworked, and underpaid. How do cancers currently see themselves? How do cancers currently see themselves? Six of pentacles. I think you have a big offer here, cancer. A big offer. It could be something you've been working for with the Ten of Wands, waiting for, knowing it was coming in. What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? Why do I feel an Ace of Swords? What is the energy coming in Cancer doesn't see coming, please? What is the energy coming in? We got a flip. We got, two. we got three. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the King of Swords. Interesting. King and Queen of Swords in our cards. Virgo. We start Virgo season today. And you got the Eight of Pentacles here. Why am I getting two energies right here? I kind of get that there too. What's the, what are in your emotions currently? What are in Cancer's emotions? The world reverse. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome? Seven of Wands, Reverse Leo. Give me one more card. What is the outcome here? I feel like you're making someone sweat. What's the outcome here? Five of Pentacles, Reverse. Why do I get this, this sense that you, maybe you're fed up with having everything on your back. Ten of Wands, I mean, literally everything is on her back. And all she wants to do is focus on that single flower in her hand. A new beginning here. and But a Four of Swords is a pullback. And I feel like for some of you, look at that, two of cups and the eight of swords reverse. If somebody was kind of, I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I should, you know, if I want to do this or it, it was a big question mark. Okay. So maybe reason for the reading, you pull yourself back in your queen of swords state. Cause that is Libra. Libra is the queen of swords. And you're like, you know what? Come to me, correct. Or don't come to me at all. You know, three of ones reverse and a four of swords. You could have turned your back on this. And making somebody grow up and finally make a decision. It sounds like they do because you got a wheel of fortune in the near future. 
and the king of swords and this three of swords and the eight of pentacles it's like somebody wants to work finally on this they want to help you out here in your emotions is a world reverse and we will clarify that but it almost seems like you're not against staying but you don't want it all on your shoulders anymore you want somebody to really show up and appreciate you so a five of pentacles reverse is finally getting the appreciation you deserve I feel like you kind of were like this in a situation and that's that 10 of wands on the outside looking in trying to get someone to see your point of view and with it being reversed it's like you're finally they're finally welcome you into their some of you this is somebody who's been very resistant to letting anybody in you know and they're finally letting you in all right let's clarify this let's see what we we got going what is this emperor center look at that i split the deck wheel of fortune and the empress and the empress is the empress true pair cancer i feel like somebody's waking up to what this is they're ready to trust you ready to let you in and ready to do this in a big big way what is this emperor center of the reading what is this emperor center of the reading three of swords you got two three of swords okay in the same line and it feels like somebody probably because they've been hurt somebody hides behind their work hides behind their material things status money whatever because it's easier than having to let somebody in again that's the feeling i have here what is this ten of wands influencing energy sagittarius what's this ten of wands influencing energy yeah nine of wands reverse nine of wands reverse is ready to let those eight of wands go and release the pain, release the stress and move forward and release this person. I feel like some of you are willing to walk away than stay in a situation you're not treated right with, you know, for. What is the Four of Swords reason for the reading, Libra and energy? What is this Four of Swords? And the Queen, Five of Cups reverse Scorpio. I feel like you just want to get your happiness back. You want to get you back. You don't want to stumble in a situation with one more person that's emotionally unavailable. Five of Cups reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. You are an Empress, Cancer. Empress is all four queens. And all four queens are really upright here. They really are. Queen of Pentacles is... The Queen of Pentacles is an amazing card. This is Capricorn, by the way, because some people want to know the signs. That's why I say different signs on the, for the cards. But the Queen of Pentacles is a very loyal, dedicated energy. It's somebody who's there for everybody. It's someone you can count on. It's someone who's not going anywhere. And your Queen of Swords is out protecting your heart, protecting your worth, because you do know your worth. And a Five of Cups reverse Scorpio is your true pair. But a five of cups reverse is no longer thinking of the past. You're moving forward. You, you want that two of cups kind of lifestyle. You don't want to have to convince somebody else you're their two of cups and vice versa. So I feel like you start moving forward with or without this person is how I feel here. Scorpio, seven of cups in the past. I feel like somebody treated you like an option, but now they're realizing you're the one they can't live with. That's kind of, I know it sounds dramatic, but that's what I'm feeling. Seven of cups in the past and the judgment card. And this person, and this definitely feels like somebody, because seven of cups is an option card. And you want to be treated like the ace of cups you are, not, not like everybody else. But the judgment is when you came into this person's life, they did change. They just didn't realize they changed. I think you were aware of this. I don't think they were fully aware of this. Or they, they tried to not look at it and tried to not see it. And I do get the sense that somebody, that even that 10 of wands and emperor feels like somebody buries themselves with, so they don't have to actually see what's right in front of them. I mean, really look at this 10 of wands. They bury themselves in work, in problems, in stress, rather than having to face that Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, whatever you want to call that flower she's holding, it does feel like an ace. And somebody was really resistant, finally letting go. 
What is, but the nine of wands reverse is literally letting go. Three of wands reverse on your mind. Aries energy, what's this three of wands reverse? Yeah, ace of swords reverse. Ace, I, I felt this ace come in. Look at that page of wands at the bottom. I feel like cancer, you're also not optionless. I don't know if you have someone in your life or you know, you know what? I will have someone, but they will treat me right. Because seven of wands reverse only released you to be able to, to be on your own path. I feel like you just don't want to waste any more time. Ace of swords reverse and a three of wands reverse. It almost feels like maybe you found something out because an ace of swords reverse an untruthful card. It could also mean a lack of communication card or it could be both because there's been this question mark because there's been this fog distance whatever somebody's not being on the up and up or they're not having clear communication it makes you kind of wonder are they hiding something whatever comes about here i really do feel on your mind is thinking about really turning your back on this and maybe you aren't talking to this person for a day two days three days i think it might take them like a couple days to realize wait a minute she's not busy or he's not cancer could be male male or female he or she's not busy maybe maybe i did something that's how oblivious i think this energy is that i don't even think they instantly realize they did something by doing nothing you know what i mean i you know even if it isn't a third party or cheating or anything like that it's just the lack of fighting for this is the issue here and trusting you What's this wheel of fortune in the near future? What is the wheel of fortune in the near future? And the king of pentacles reverse with or without you. That queen of pentacles can do it without you. So you better watch out because the queen of pentacles, the tip, the, the main meaning on this is run a business, run a home, take care of everything seamlessly, effortlessly. Um, it's just, she's really good at keeping her, 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 or his stress down so they can handle things. They don't make decisions based on stress. They make decisions based on the greater good for themselves and the people around them. And I always think of this as a divorcee card. I really do. So this King of Pentacles reverse in the near future, I feel like you're just saying, you know what? I don't want to keep repeating this. Either you need to pull up your big boy or big girl pants and and pull yourself together or i'm moving on six of pentacles tells me there is another offer here how you see yourself six of pentacles taking a much better offer finally getting reciprocation where it's not all, all on your back taurus energy so i kind of do feel this is what you want yeah and the temperance you want a peace of mind four swords in the temperance minor and major of each other a peace of mind tranquility not needing to be stressed over something not needing to be worried about if somebody's going to do something or not do something and i feel like you are pulled back until you get the offer you deserve and you're just fine with it i don't feel like you're heartbroken but i do feel like that somebody's hiding a broken heart or they they're they don't want a broken heart you know like they they really hide their heart here king of swords three of swords and the eight of pentacles energy coming in you don't see coming and the night here comes romance knight of cups is a very romantic card i do feel like somebody's finally ready to let you in and i feel like they're going to reveal something with that three of swords and why they don't let you in or why they are not communicating and also maybe how they really feel the five of pentacles reverse is literally letting you in seven of wands reverse is literally not letting someone in so it's interesting that somebody who's resistant to letting anyone in, I finally think because you pull back and treat somebody, teach somebody how to treat you with respect and saying, you're not going to do this to me. You can do this to your six other cups, five other cups, but not me. I feel like you get the offer you really deserve. Okay. World reverse and in your emotions, look at the devil and the wheel that fell out between the world reverse and the wheel of fortune upright and the page of pentacles. I think you know it. I think you know this person's coming back correctly with the devil. I feel like, why the devil here in the world reverse? Yeah, four of pentacles reverse, or a release, letting go. I feel, it's interesting because look at that. You have, let's, let's go back through these cards. 
you have in your emotions somebody re this devil energy capricorn both capricorns releasing the devil energy in a world reverse but here reason for the reading is a two of cups five of cups reverse is a two of cups and it's not thinking of the past only wanting the future only wanting love but for some of you if this is third party you have somebody's other person holding on to them or they're staying because they feel obligated to stay either way it, it still feels like they're releasing something because you have a five of pentacles reverse in the outcome card why is the five of pentacles reverse in the outcome card for cancer why is the five of pentacles reverse in the outcome and the empress cancer emperor and the empress that is the top of the top true pair going on here why the seven of wands reverse in the outcome card page of pentacles reverse i really do get this look at that nine of pentacles minor arcana card of the empress two of swords reverse ten of cups reverse it does seem like either somebody's deciding to leave something that was unhappy for something new or somebody's ready to let go of the past hurt for something present and new i say new because it's it's really present but it hasn't it hasn't had its proper chance to really be built on quite yet but a nine of pentacles is how this person wants you is probably how they're going to make you feel because this is how they do feel about you nine of pentacles is somebody who seemingly has it all together you know much like the, how the queen of pentacles is it's like you look at somebody and you don't see the problems you just see how it could beautifully affect your life and it's very infectious and you want to be around those kind of energies they're very high vibrational they're very positive they're very like they don't talk about what they want to do they go out and do it and live by example that way and you know show other people how to how to do the same thing it's just a very very multi-layered kind of individual and i really get the sense that this is how somebody sees you they don't see you as somebody they need to take care of i feel like they have that for some of you they already have that and that is what they're trying to get away from they see you as a full aligned individual that you take me or leave me but i'm fine with with or without you and i just feel like somebody's ready to prove to you that you should invest in them too. I just feel like there is this little teeter-totter going on over here because maybe they thought you wouldn't be as interested. Maybe they thought if they would open up and be honest about something that you would run away. And what's making you turn your back is the lack of honesty because you know what? I wouldn't lie to a cancer. They, they give truth, they want truth, and they appreciate the truth. And as long as you're truthful with a cancer, I think they, they're very understanding. So I just feel like you're going to see another side of this person here really soon and how they truly feel. All right, Cancer. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your week. Take care.